Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing some more crochet um, and this time I want to learn how to make a little a little duck keychain. Um, I will link as always the tutorial that I'm following in the description below and hopefully you guys can follow along too. It'll be fun. Let me know how you guys get on but we didn't jump right into it. It's a 15 minute tutorial or at least it's 12 minutes but the actual video says it should take 15 minutes so We'll, we'll see what's going on, but hopefully it should also take me that short time too. So, so let's just get into it. <laughs> okay, so I've switched to this angle because I'm hoping it will be better. But as you can see, I've only got this much wool for the white wool. In fact, this is slightly cream. This is the amount I have for white wool. And it's most likely not going to be enough. So we're going to use this one and hope it'll be fine. The first thing to do is to chain two and then single crochet five in the second chain. So I'm saying it like I know what's going on, but I have no idea. Let's just get into it. Okay, so next is an increase. So I'm just going to run around this whole ring and do an increase. Okay, so round three is a single crochet and then an increase, con continuing through the whole round. I have a feeling this is going to turn out a lot smaller than the one she's doing is. Okay, so rounds four, five, six, and seven are all single crochets. So there isn't really much that I need to say for the next few rounds. I'm just going to go ahead and do them all and then see you after I've finished all of them. Okay, so I'm back. I've done the single crochet and I'm on round, this will be round eight now that I begin on. Um, to be honest, it starts with a bobble stitch, which I have no idea how to do, so I'll be figuring that out. And I will come back to you after that, because I think I'm going to have to find myself another tutorial to teach me how to do a bobble stitch first. <laughs> okay. I've had to switch sides because someone won't move, so here we are. Anyway, next round done. I've got my little bobble stitches. Look, I'm so impressed. I learned how to do them. So he's got little hands or wings, and now I've got to see what's next. Okay, now it's time for safety eyes. There we go. Okay, now I need to make a little beak. Someone is watching very closely. <laughs> that was very naughty. I quite like that. Where are you going now? This is what we've got going on so far. Half of him is done. Let's see what's next. Right, we're at this stage now. Um, where I'm filling. I really haven't done much off camera, to be honest. I've done one more round. But... Let us fill the little ducky in, and then, and then we can, I, I assume we're on the closing stages. I still have to add some feet, but I'm going to assume that's next. Okay, so the tutorial wanted me to close him up before stitching little feet on. I think I'm going to do it the other way around. Where am I going to put the feet? No idea. We're just going to, again, guesswork. I do agree with my earlier statement, actually. It's a lot easier doing it like this. I'll do one more on this one. Looks like it needs an extra one. And this is how he's gonna look. <gasps> so cute. Okay, let's get him all stitched up and then. Oh, then we can see him. Oops. Okay, okay. Just, okay. <laughs> right. Hey guys, you ready for the finished product? Because I love it. So I hope you guys love it too. Here he is. Look how bloody cute this is. I really like him. I actually ended up getting 
the littlest mushroom I've made just to see in comparison what it looks like and they're one and the same he does have eyes <laughs> here he is obviously when he's popped up he's bigger when he's down they're about the same about the same I definitely found this one a lot easier to follow probably because this one has the technical popping mushroom so there's a lot of decreasing and increasing this was pretty straightforward and I'll be making so much more of them I, it will become an obsession <laughs> I love I love him and I hope you guys do too I added this little keychain because I found it when I was cleaning my wardrobe I found a bunch of them so I'll be using them more often although I could also bring back the stars and the moons and stuff that I've used for the mushrooms I kind of like him with this keychain though Thoughts? Opinions? Let me know. <laughs> and let me know if you try this out too. Also, if you've got any crochet tutorials you want me to follow and learn from, because this one I learnt the bobble stitch, the mushroom I pretty much learnt all the basics with, so it was, it was good. I feel like I'm learning one thing each time I do this, so if there is any tutorials that you have used or you have followed that you've thought was very helpful, please let me know in the comments because I will most likely be doing them too. And thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone. You want to say bye? Bye everyone. He said no. Bye. <laughs>